Hello, my pretties. How are you? I'm going to be doing a read for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. So if you're looking for answers in reference to an Aries, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, um, the prettyoracle.com is where you're going to be able to find all that I have to offer you guys. Well, not everything, okay? You're going to get to the site and you're going to click products and it's going to expose everything that I have to offer, right? Well, most. Um, I do have a huge selection of candles, um, but what I'm not going to do is post it because we don't need the enemy to know what it is that we have up our sleeve. Okay, so if you're having a particular problem and you don't see it on a site listed as a bundle, okay, then you email me and I will create a custom bundle for you, which is like a kit in a box to solve your spiritual problem, okay? Um, also, if I help you at any time during this reading and you're looking to donate, you can do that by way of the Amazon wish list or my PayPal donation link, which is going to be in the description box below. You're also going to find my email there okay you do not need to have paypal to order from my site you guys you just click the paypal link and you're able to put in any debit or credit card so aries you're being warned about um a relationship okay you're being warned about a relationship this is this for, for a lot of you guys this could be sexual I feel like, um, you see with this wave of power, okay, it, it says a surge of power, upswing in energy, an exhilarating movement. You could be dealing with a succubus, incubus energy, okay? Death. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings and relationships. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. So you are hanging around someone who um, is not of your highest good. Right now, I don't know if their purpose is to, you know, harm you or their purpose is to um, negatively affect your life or if they're just this type of entity and that's just what they are, okay? But they will, okay? You're being warned about this person. I, I feel like after you, for those of you who this resonates as a sexual relationship, um, I feel like you may feel tired after you, um, either tired after you have sex with this person or with this energy of upswing, uh, upswinging energy, you may have a taste for sex, drugs, and rock and roll after you deal with this person. I feel I'm getting the energy of, you know, you deal with this person all of a sudden you got a taste for cigarettes or you want to, you want to smoke weed or you want to eat edibles or, you know, you, you're, you're doing things that you wouldn't normally do could even be overeating. Okay. And that's because of the energy that they carry with them. Okay. This exchange of energy energy um makes me feel like that is that person's energy and when you are around that person it eventually rubs off on you especially if you are um mixing energies with them sexually okay yeah for those of you because now i'm hearing like now I'm hearing that this may even be, yeah, okay, like I said, like I was going to say, this may even be an ex of yours, okay? This um ex of yours, if, if, you know, if you're not involved with anybody, take it how it resonates, right? Could be with the thinking man, doing some type of skull work and sending some sort of energy to your third eye, okay? So if you are feeling, um, you know, sex, drugs, rock and roll, lust, um, you know, p party, um, all those type of energies. Okay. You need to know that this energy is, um, outside of you. Okay. And it's being projected upon you. Um, for a lot of you, like I said, this is going to be someone that you already have around you. When you merge your energy with this person's energy, you start to pick up what they, what they have inside of them, okay? This is given um, sexually transmitted dis um, demon. Not disease, but demon, okay? For some of you guys, um, this is a jealous ex, okay? This is, this is a jealous ex that's pushing this energy onto you. For others of you guys, you are dealing with someone who has mixed their energies with a lot of other people. Yeah, what did I say? Okay. You're dealing with somebody who has 
mix their energies with a lot of other people with the devil reverse this could be a capricorn i have sagittarius here or um gemini libra aquarius okay it's like i feel like after you had sex with this person you could you feel like like not dirty but you just feel different okay this is not your energy so you want to be careful about who it is that you sleeping with or even at the very least who you are um even just friendships okay relationships i am attracted to those people who serve my higher good okay oh yeah physical activity this is sex this is like who you having sex with okay look at that you got to be careful with this moderation you have to be careful you need to cut this out of your life with the death i am learning that endings are merely beginnings okay also with the nine of swords in reverse this gives me um needing to protect yourself on the astral realm Because it feels to me like somebody's trying to swap your energy with theirs. This could be purposely or like I said, through sex. Either way, you know, it does not benefit you. Somebody's name could start with a K. This person lies a lot. I'm trying to give you... um. And I, they, they feel like they're better than other people, okay? Look at that. You're dealing with an energy vampire. You're definitely dealing with an energy vampire, okay? This person may have issues with their father. This person, it, whether it be lack, the, the father wasn't around, or they had issues in their home with their father, okay? Uh, they telling me um, with the physical abuse at the uh, physical abuse at the bottom of the deck, some of them um, were um, beaten by their father or watched violence as a child in their household with their father, okay? And I feel like it has contributed to some sort of mental illness. But this person that I'm picking up, they have the same mental illness that their father has, Okay. All right, you guys, let me get you, let me get you an oracle. Pay attention to thoughts and ideas that come to you as they are answered prayers. I feel like you have been feeling suspicious about this person. Um, you have been... So, okay, I'm, I'm like somebody said. I always do that. But they just told me that um, you could have had a dream about this individual. You know, that lets you know, like, mm, I don't know. I feel like you looking at this person and you thinking, like, mm, I don't really want to deal with you. But this um, contro man... C at the bottom of the deck, which is seashell C divination, okay? Wisdom of shells. Um, I do feel like this person <clears throat> may be a water sign, but it also makes me feel like this person um, is into some sort of magic, you know? Um, <clears throat> this kind, all right? Not the kind that you want to be tied up in. The kind that needs other people's energy to feed off of, Okay? For some of you guys, you, you're you writing your dreams down in a journal. And if you go back and look into your journal of um, your other dreams, you're going to be able to piece together what they're trying to, <laughs> what they're trying to tell you. It's connected, okay? 
All right, y'all. I hope this helps.